Hi there, my name is Leonard from Industry Loss. Today we shall take a closer look at hinges. As you know, there is a wide range of hinges available with different features and characteristics. So, there are many things to consider when designing in a hinge. So, how much load must the hinge withstand? To determine this, we must ask ourselves a number of questions. How much does the door weigh? Where is the center of gravity? What other loads will be applied? Will equipment be mounted on the door? Will people hang on the open door? There are theoretical calculations that can be made about loads and strengths, but the best is, whenever possible, test the hinge in your specific application. Should we use a concealed or an external mounted hinge? How much space can you afford inside or outside the enclosure? A concealed hinge provides a clean outer panel and improves security by eliminating attack points for vandals. An external hinge offers greater strength and can allow for a greater door opening angle. They are also easier to fit to an application any time in the design process. How far must the door open? Concealed hinges usually have a limit at 130 degrees opening angle. External mounted hinges allow for 108 degrees or more. Sometimes the ability to keep the door open without someone holding it is required. If this is the case, think about using a detent hinge. Or a friction hinge. Is removing the door a requirement? Often a fast door removal for quick and complete access to the interior of the cabinet is required. For this we have the following options. Lift off hinges. Hinges with retractable or removable pin. Hinges with spring-loaded pin. And our click hinge. What specifications must the hinge and enclosure meet? The environmental conditions determine your choice of material. In evaluating materials, we must consider the temperature range, chemical exposure, UV radiation, and moisture conditions. The protection degree determines your choice of hinge with regard to intrusion of dust and water. How will the hinge be installed? Consider the manufacturing and installation process carefully. Will the hinge parts be assembled to the door and frame at the same time or in different locations and assembled later? Will slotted holes help compensate for manufacturing variations? I hope this little presentation has given you an idea how to design in a hinge in your application. That's all for today. See you next time.